Hey, everybody. Just want to wish everyone a happy new year and take a second to reflect on all the things we've covered on Cruise Man's Garage YouTube channel in 2020. So let me just tell you how this all started. Last year, we started with a review of the helmet quick release. And in the past year, I've got some notes here. I just, just give you a quick overview of all the reviews that uh, were on the channel last year. We did the quick release for the helmet, the heated gloves, the path blazer, and the tail blazer. We did a review of my riding gear, what I recommend as far as jackets and safety gear. I did a review and installation on the Muth uh, signal mirrors. I did a review of my new GoPro Hero 8. I have two of those. I use those on my motor vlogs. I reviewed and installed the caliper covers the L with LEDs built in from Pathfinder LED. Now, I had a really bad flu in February. Some of you may remember when I got off the cruise ship in February. Uh, Ricky and I both were really sick. That knocked me out for about three weeks. So I wasn't able to do any videos for at least two to three weeks there in February. But then we came back with a FOBO, uh, the Bike 2 TPMS system review. COVID really came alive the end of February, and that's when it kind of hit the national thing. Things started getting locked down and shut down. So that kind of put a hitch in some of the things I was planning to do last year. Uh, I did a review of the 2020 Goldwing. That was actually the most popular video on my channel in 2020 with more than 340,000 views. I reviewed the InView helmet light, the Garmin Zumo XT, which I also did an installation video on, the Ultimate Seat. I did a comparison between the Cardo and the Cena Bluetooth headsets. I also did an installation video and kind of reviewed the new passenger grab rails for the 2020 Goldwing because you can't install those, of course, on your 2018 or 2019. I did a review of the Peak Design Travel Tripod, which I keep in my saddlebag. And of course, I did a couple of those stupid people videos, which you guys seem to really like. I did a review of the Cena Plus Mesh system, which lets you connect your older Cena headsets to this new mesh technology. I did a review and an installation on the Ultra Flash LED conversion for the 2001 to 2017 Honda Goldwings. I even did a review of my new Lexus NX300. The craziest video I did was how to take the Goldwing off the side stand. Now this, this kind of came about as part of this whole controversy surrounding this steering stem on the Goldwing, the potential that it had for uh, braking and causing you to lose steering control. So we talked about that too. I did a couple of videos on that. I even showed how to install the traction uh, steering stem little safety pin. I did a review and an installation video on the new add-on sequential turn signals. Very cool product. And I did some tips videos on how to see, be seen and how to see better on your bike. One of my most popular videos was how I showed you how to wire all the accessories and how I do it on my Goldwing, kind of a strategy for dealing with all the wires that can end up under your seat. And of course, I started talking about my garage renovation project. I did a review and an installation video on the new dynamic trunk spoiler from Pathfinder LED, another really cool product. I did a review and showed you how to put together this uplift desk, which I'm using right now for my studio videos. And I did a review of the Duhan uh, heated socks. Also, my last installation and review video for 2020 was the Remus Performance Sport Exhaust, a very popular video and a very cool product, I might add. I did 51 motovlogs, almost one motovlog per week in 2020. We had 8,328 new subscribers in 2020 and 163 hours were watched. I enjoyed 41,000 thumbs up on all the videos very appreciative because those thumbs up really do matter because it it kind of helps uh, with the algorithm at YouTube. The more thumbs up the video gets, uh, it forces YouTube to kind of show the video or make it available to more people uh, throughout the YouTube world. And then there's the Facebook groups. We have more than 6,000 new members 
to our two Honda Goldwing Facebook groups. I'll put the URLs on the screen and in the description of this video. And if you haven't joined us on Facebook yet, please do. It's a great place to post questions and just learn a little more about Goldwing maintenance. So what do we have to look forward to in 2021? Well, first of all, it won't be 2020. 2020 kind of sucked, if you know what I mean. So I think what you're going to see, obviously, I have a new studio here. I'm just getting it set up, learning how to use it. I've got a new camera, new lighting, and hopefully we'll be doing some more things from the studio as well as in the garage. But you're going to see some new equipment. You're going to see a lot of new review videos, a lot of new maintenance videos coming for those of you who subscribe to my maintenance series. We now have 70 videos in the 2018 plus Honda Goldwing maintenance video series. It's pretty amazing because we only had 33 when we initially released the series. Now, one of the things I think you're going to notice in 2021, and I've been told this by several people, I edit out a lot of my own personality in these videos. You know, sometimes I, I can get a little raw and I have always tended in the past to edit that stuff out. But a lot of people have said, hey, let's see you know, the real cruise man. Well, I hope you're ready for it because there are going to be a less editing out of that stuff in 2021. Again, I really appreciate all your comments, all your likes, all your subscriptions. It just, uh, it's really been uh, a quite an incredible year. The more you share these videos, the more you hit the like buttons, the more you obviously subscribe. You know, 77% of the videos that were viewed uh, in 2020 were from non-subscribers, people who do not subscribe to the channel. So I appreciate the subscriptions. I try not to make a big deal out of it in each video. I don't really like to say, hey, hit that subscribe button or smash that like button or anything like that. I, I think you're even going to see less of that in my videos in 2021 because it, it really annoys me when I watch YouTube videos and these guys come on kind of almost begging you. Uh, to subscribe. So the main purpose of this video is to wish all of you a very happy new year. I hope you had a great Christmas. And I just got back in town myself. It's a little cold and rainy outside right now, so I'm not going to be riding for a few days anyway. And I still have a lot of work to do on that garage. I currently have 11 videos in the pipeline that should be released in January. So hopefully these will all come together soon and you'll have more entertainment, more stuff to watch on Cruise Man's Garage YouTube channel. Thanks again for joining me today and have a happy new year. Let's get out of 2020. 2021 just has to be better. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button and that little bell icon so YouTube will notify you of new videos when they become available.